आज हम पढ़ने जा रहे हैं सिंह टेक्स्ट बुक बोर्ड का रीडिंग टेक्स्ट वन पाकिस्तान जिंदाबाद ठीक है इसकी मैंने पॉइंट्स यहाँ पे पढ़ने के लिए हैं जिससे मैं आपको एक्सप्लेन करता जाऊँगा अबाउट लेसन पाकिस्तान का जी एक पेट्रोटिक किस्म का लेसन है ठीक है इससे पेट्रोटिक फीलिंग्स उजागर होती है ठीक है सबसे पहले 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 पैराग्राफ में हमें इंट्रोडक्शन दिया गया है ठीक है हमें बताया गया है कि मतलब पाकिस्तान आज़ाद होने वाला है अगस्त सेवन है और कायद अजम कराची आ गई ठीक है कराची है अगस्त सेवन है उन्नीस सौ सैंतालीस है नाइनटीन फोर्टी सेवन है और बॉलीवुड एयरपोर्ट पे कायद अजम का एयरक्राफ्ट लैंड करता है ठीक है तो कायद अजम जो प्योर वाइट शेरवान बनी हुई होती है वो बाहर निकलते हैं तो लोग स्लोगन्स रेस करते हैं तो ये स्लोगन्स ऑफ पाकिस्तान जिंदाबाद पाकिस्तान जिंदाबाद ठीक है कायद अजम वॉज द औरिजिनेटर एंड फर्स्ट गवर्नर जनरल ऑफ पाकिस्तान ओके नाम we have been given a paragraph and different sentences for the nature of Qaidiyazam as well. Okay, now when he was thinking about the bad happening with the refugees uh, which are crossing the borders, uh, he was stern, he was serious, he was committed to his mission. But uh, there are also some scenes that when he uh, goes to the balcony of the government house, he sees the people, they are continuously raising the slogans of Pakistan and Daba. He, a smile comes up on his face. This shows that he is warm-hearted. He is stern, but he is warm-hearted as well. Mm, due to the mission of Qaidism, due to the uh, struggles of Qaidism, uh, a country appeared upon the map of the world which is we know as Pakistan, Islamic Republic of Pakistan, which is the largest in the world by population and the largest among the Muslim countries. At the independence, the population was 70 million. Means 70 million people who were a small defeated group had got a new nation overnight. Uh, then there was uh, a speech on August 11 of Qaidism in which he was addressing the nation and, uh, and he assured full religious autonomy. He said that you are free to go to your temples, you are free to go to your uh, mosques, you are free to go to your any other places of worship in this state of Pakistan. What we are committed to is the national interest of Pakistan and we are equal citizens of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan. This was Qaidiyasur's motive and we love that. Now, this was the first paragraph. Uh, first page and uh, one quarter of the next page of Pakistan's Nabad lesson number one. Now there is a throwback. We go back uh, when uh, the struggles for, uh, for Pakistan were being held by the Muslims of United India. In 1914, we all know uh, on 23rd March 1914, Pakistan resolution was passed in Lahore. Uh, the, it was known as Mindu Park, now it is known as Iqbal Park. Uh, uh, the Pakistan resolution demanded from the government or uh, the British government to split India into two nations and to not, uh, do not accept any plan which do not give uh, rights to the Muslims. So uh, it passed the Pakistan, so uh, the Indian newspapers called the resolution as Pakistan resolution. Uh, before the 19, 1933, a Cambridge student, Chaudhary Ramad Ali, had invented the word Pakistan in 1933, uh, which is a both Urdu and Persian word, and it is a full form as well. Punjab, Afghania, Kashmir, Iran, Sindh, and Tan states of Balochistan, Tukharistan, and Afghanistan. Fine. And the word Pakistan means land of the people who are spiritually pure and clean. Kaizism said, that no power on earth can prevent Pakistan. He also said, uh, take the decision by uh, your mind. But once the decision is taken, think hundred times before you take a decision. But once the decision is taken, stand by it as one. And he did so. <laughs> then, uh, in the end, uh, at that time, uh, there was a civil disobedience by the Hindu uh, rulers Hindu leaders as well, they were held in prison by the British government, but Qaid Azam achieved Pakistan without breaking any rule. Uh, he also find, found time to establish a new newspaper for the Muslims, which he called Dawn. Uh, as the most of the newspapers in India were mainly of Hindus or of uh, English people, the Muslims welcomed the Dawn as a paper of their own. 
Now, the final discussion between the Gandhi and Qaeda Azam was held. They were discussing the issue. Uh, Gandhi said, splitting India means ruin for India. While Qaeda Azam said, Muslims and Hindus are two, two different creatures. Nothing in life joins them. Then, uh, afterwards, resultantly, British, uh, British sent their last vice president, which is Lord Mountbatten, and uh, Lord, Lord Mountbatten, and they decided to uh, give independence to the people of India by uh, June 1948. But before a year, in March 1947, the country was on the border of civil war. They decided to give independence by uh, August. 1947. It helped subsequently. Uh, powers given to India and Pakistan. Lord Mountbatten was the last, last vice of India. Now, choice of given upon the Muslim majority uh, areas or Muslim majority provinces that whether they want to join India or they want to join Pakistan. Now, uh, Sindh, Northwest Frontier Province, Balochistan, West Punjab, Sindhid and East Bengal combined to form Pakistan. But it's, it's still not this made a small country than the league had asked for. So uh, some 14 million Muslims were left in India. Means, But at least Muslims had uh, a country to call their own. Uh, and uh, the refugee crisis, 14 million Muslims were left in India and 6.5 million Muslims crossed the border of India and came to Pakistan while 5.5 million Muslims left Pakistan and went to India. Then they got independence. These are very terrible stories and the first year of Pakistan's history is very terrible because uh, it had Qaedaism's death but Qaedaism went us make through that. It was very terrible. Uh, Kashmir was a heartbreak for Qaid Azam. He died and was brought to Karachi. This was a summary of Pakistan Zimbabwe. If you understand these, you can uh, easily uh, give out summaries and question answers.